She can feel and taste the oil that has poured into her mouth. Every move is recorded by film and reporters from all over the world. Just prior to the vision, and all during it, her body becomes ice cold to the touch. If one holds her hand, it is like holding an ice cube. Her face takes on a look of a child. Her skin becomes light red and smooth. Her face seems to slightly puff up. Her normal complexion is sort of pale and she has a slight problem with acne or skin blemishes. All this disappears though during the vision. She will have a blank look on her eyes as if she were thinking. However, she does not see anything of this world for a long time. God must take her back slowly. And so, she stays in the light of his being until it slowly vanishes. Even the voices she hears in the room sound as if they are far away. But she will join in with their prayers. Anyone who claims that they can explain this light has never seen it. The light is not just visual. It affects every one of the senses, the hearing, the feeling, the taste, the sight. Mirna always takes on a look of unhappiness when she is returning from this light, because, as she says, she does not really want to return. She gives the message to Father Maluli, who writes it down very carefully. When he is absolutely sure he has recorded it correctly, he will read it to the faithful in the patio of the little house and send copies to the bishops of Damascus. My children, Jesus said to Peter, you are the rock and on it I shall build my church. And I say to you now, you are the heart in which Jesus will build his oneness. I want you to dedicate your prayers for peace from now until remembrance of the resurrection. On Holy Week 1990, everyone expected the stigmata because it was one of the years all of Christianity would celebrate Easter on the same day. But what they did not expect was the change. They did not expect it to be so dramatic. And for the first time ever, Myrna received the scourging pain on her back and could not lay down. Her shoulder was in great pain from carrying the cross. This was another wound of Christ that she had never felt before. Four doctors, one biologist, and two psychologists stayed with her the entire time. Father Maluli never left her. Four video cameras filmed. The wounds in her hands and feet did not appear. She was in great pain. Every part of her body was in pain. Father Maluli, Myrna's confessor, assisted her. The doctor said that the blood had to be coming from deep inside her because of its redness. Her back and shoulder caused her great pain. Many who watch this stigmata will not understand why God would do this. There have been 260 stigmatists since Christ. To understand God's reasons is to understand the meaning of his words, carry your cross. To understand this is to understand the meaning of the mystical body of Christ, his church his kingdom. In Christ's kingdom, 
all the members of the body share in all things spiritual. They share in the prayers, the suffering, the sacrifices, and even the sins. When a member of the mystical body prays in the middle of the desert of Arabia, all the members of the body receive grace, even in New York. Likewise, when a member of the body sins, all the body is affected. When Myrna shares in the suffering of Christ, she pays the debt of many sins, especially of the sins that cause the divisions of the kingdom. This is the meaning of the message of November 26, 1985. Mirna will continue to suffer until the divided churches put away their differences. She will continue to suffer for our nationalistic prejudices, for our hatreds of the past, for our feelings that we are somehow better than other races, other churches, other nations. She will continue to suffer until we learn to love, to love as Christ loved. We must first of all learn to love the Word of God, to love it even if we do not like it. We must learn to love the Christian from Russia, from Lebanon, from Syria, from Bulgaria. Love them even if we do not like them. What will Myrna's stigmata be like next time if we do not work for unity? During the stigmata of 1987, Myrna said, He loves us. We don't love him. We are playing a comedy to each other. He wants to unify us by his will. He can make it over our head. But he wants us to do it ourselves. Myrna's father, Abu Amir, also suffers with her. He wants to help her but he doesn't know what to do. She wants to lie down, but her back is in too much pain. She's getting weak and cold. She wants to rest, but she doesn't know how to do it. She's weak and frustrated. Every part of her body is in pain, pain even to the slightest touch. Everyone in the room is suffering with her especially her father. She tries to lie down, and she finally does. Her father's heart is about to break for his daughter. Although she only has five wounds in her head, she feels all the wounds which are many and covered the entire head of Christ. The faithful continue to pray the rosary. Myrna enters into a sort of rest, which corresponds to the rest Christ had as he waited for the Romans to finish building the cross he would be nailed to.